A new computer virus is attacking businesses right here in Minnesota. It locks you out of your own data and demands your money. Five Eyewitness News reporter Josh Rosenthal is here. And Josh, even computer technicians don't have a solution for this one, huh? Yeah, Bill, we've heard of viruses spreading via email before, but this one's different. It doesn't go after your passwords or your credit card numbers. It goes after things like pictures of your kids and then makes you pay up if you want them back. It's the equivalent of getting your child kidnapped and they hold a ransom for money. Rockford computer technician Rod Rodsian is talking about a brand new virus called CryptoLocker. It locks you out of data on your computer's hard drive and basically holds it hostage unless you pay a fee, typically hundreds of dollars. Children's pictures, family pictures, wedding pictures. That's the kind of files this targets. Often people get the virus by clicking on a link disguised as an email from a legitimate business like UPS or FedEx. People go, oh, I have a package, it's Christmas, and then boom, they open the attachment, they get hit. Rotsian's already seen it in more than a dozen Minnesota businesses, and he's not the only one. The stuff we deal James with. James Cuning works for Minneapolis-based data security company Lucidata. It's strong encryption. It's like the stuff your banks use to protect your financial information, the stuff your hospital uses to protect your medical records. We even found this newspaper article about a Massachusetts police department, of all places, getting the virus and putting up the cash. That's because even the experts say if you get CryptoLocker, you could be out of luck if you don't pay up. I don't even think a guy, well, a guy from MIT might be able to, but that's about it. Computer technicians say the best way to protect your computer is to back it up. That way, if you lose everything, you've got another copy. Also, antivirus software is always a good idea. Finally, you might be wondering how these hackers get paid. Well, it's mostly through bitcoins, which is a virtual currency that's largely anonymous and therefore largely untraceable. Bill? All right, thank you.